right. Today what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the musculature of the rat. <coughs> musculature of the rat. So first thing I'm going to do is make a small section through the skin just above the prepuce but trying very hard not to trying to get just under the skin not getting any of the muscle underneath because I've already done, gone too far. That's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and skin the rat. I'm making small cuts. I'm trying to go very shallow to avoid damaging the muscles that are what we want to take a look at. So, yep. um, skin, is actually pretty resilient, which I mean we can pull on it and not worry about tearing the skin too much. Uh, you can see the throat of the rat has already been uh, skinned a little bit. For the purposes of injecting the dye, I also did a little surgery on the side here. It was sewed back up with staples for the purposes of staining the uh, lymphatic system with the yellow dye. So that yellow stuff's coming up is just latex. So we're gonna cut around the prepuce. And hopefully not. Try and get pull the skin away without tearing the body wall and the muscles too much. Ooh, come here. Ooh, come here. Oh, those staples are really kind of a bit of a challenge. But for the rat, fortunately, they're not feeling a thing. All right, so I'm going to go down and around the prepuce and the genitalia. This is a male rat, as you can tell, because of the scrotum that is hanging outside. Difficult to tell, male and female rats apart, if they didn't have that scrotum there, but that scrotum is quite the telltale sign. Come down and around. Could make cuts over the feet, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to peel away the skin from the feet. One of the hind legs, come down around the tail. Tail's already been sectioned off. Zip. There we go. And I'll just make a small cut here at the base of the tail and most of the muscles that you are accountable for knowing have been skinned. I guess we do have to get up into the arm there. Oops, I don't want to tear too much but this is uh, making what we call the rat cape want to leave the skin intact as much as possible when we do these dissections because keep the skin on and that uh, keeps the keep the rat wrapped up in the skin keeps the muscles and everything from drying out there we go all right so now we've got our rat cape you could wrap them back up in that if you were here with me, you would be putting a rubber band around this at the end of the day. Since you're not, 
Uh, we're not we're not doing exactly that. Okay, so now we're looking at the dorsal view of the rat. So let's look for these muscles, the most important muscles that we need to know. Uh, when you take anatomy and physiology, you have to know all of the muscles. But for organismal biology, our first uh, pass through here, there's only a few of the muscles that are uh, considered to be really important in the sense that you would be asked these on a lab practical. Again, in um, anatomy and physiology, one of those courses, you would have to know everything. So let's walk through them. They're kind of difficult to make out where they begin and the end. It's really much more helpful if you are here, but we'll do our best. Okay, so up here in the shoulder of the rat, leading down towards the forelimb. This is the acromyotrapezius. Acromyotrapezius. Acro means up high. So acromyotrapezius is here. Okay. Uh, under the macro, acro, excuse me, acromyotrapezius is the spinodeltoideus. It's a muscle that kind of uh, comes under the shoulder, uh, or at, on the top of the shoulder, leading down into the forelimb. Uh, underneath is the triceps brachii. So the triceps brachii is a muscle that uh, pulls back. So if the, the rat were to try and pull its, its forelimbs down like this or in towards the body, the triceps brachii would affect that motion. Uh, next thing we need to know on the dorsal side of the rat is down here, this muscle here, which is the external oblique. You might know about your obliques if you are a, a weightlifter do any kind of training, the external uh, obliques, an important muscle there. Uh, the gluteus maximus on the rat, on the human, you know the gluteus maximus is the largest muscle we have. Uh, on the rat, I don't think it is necessarily the largest muscle. I don't know what it is, but uh, they do have a gluteus maximus. It's right here under my scalpel, right here, where I'm pointing. Uh, that is the gluteus maximus. Okay, so the gluteus maximus kind of leads into and uh, kind of is right adjacent to uh, the biceps femoris, or the biceps of the leg. Uh, femoris meaning attached to the, um, the femur. So that covers kind of, uh, comes around the, the knee of the rat uh, and the femur of the rat. And then on the back of the foreleg under here, you can kind of see it a little bit in the dorsal view, we'll also see it in the ventral view, is part of the calf muscle, which is called the gastrocnemius. So the gastrocnemius is down here, and did I miss any? I missed one. Uh, the triceps femoris, you can kind of see it's uh, kind of on top of the femur, and while the, um, Let's see, so we've got the gluteus maximus, the biceps femoris, and the triceps femoris is kind of more the smaller muscle up in this area. In here, that would be your triceps femoris, kind of more on top of the leg. Okay. So those, once again, we've got, what's this one? Up top, that's acromyotrapezius. On top of the, uh, the forelimb, kind of into the shoulder, we've got the spinodeltoideus. Underneath, we've got the triceps brachii, external obliques along the side, uh, the gluteus maximus. It's not a hard one to remember because you've probably heard of it before. Uh, the biceps femoris, and the triceps femoris, and the gastrocnemius. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this guy over get a look at the ventral muscles that we are responsible for. Trying to ignore for a minute, there's a couple of rips and tears in the muscles. Um, we need to know the masheter. Masheter is on the outside of the jaw. So 
kind of up here around where the glands are, covering the glands. So it's on the outside of uh, the neck of the rat is the masher, and the antagonist to that is the digastricus. The digastricus goes down the middle of the throat. So that's what I'm pointing to right here is the digastricus. Next, we need to know about the biceps brachii, which we couldn't see on the dorsal view, but it is uh, here on the rat. You probably know about where your biceps brachii is. Um, and the triceps brachii, we can still see dorsally and ventrally. It is kind of underneath the arm when we look at it from the ventral view. Under here is the triceps brachii, biceps brachii on top. Uh, also, We've got long here, where I'm kind of outlining. This is the pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor kind of comes uh, from the, the pecs. So the pectoralis major is uh, up here in the, the breast area. Um, the nipples of a female rat, and uh, males have nail nipples too, but the female nipples, uh, rat nipples are more uh, down towards the abdomen, cover on, on top of the uh, abdominal cavity. But anyway, the pectoral muscles of the rat up here, pe pectoris major, pectoris minor underneath here. Uh, the gracilis is down here in the leg. And the gracilis is kind of a big muscle that comes around the, um, from the bottom of the, the um, extension of the hind limb up into the calf and thigh and into the groin. The rat's groin, that is the gracilis. Gracilis is in the groin. And then once again, on the calf muscle, that is the gastrocnemius. Okay, so those are the major muscles in the venter that you are responsible for knowing. Once again, outside of the jaw, what's that? That's the masseter, or masseter, uh, M-A-S-S-E-T-E-R. Here is the digastricus down the middle of the throat. Uh, we have got the biceps brachii on top of the forelimb, the triceps brachii underneath, the pectoralis major and minor. Major is the bigger muscles, muscle group that's up here, and then the minor kind of is underneath, just a little kind of whitish line in there. Uh, and then down in the legs, we've got the gracilis and the gastrocnemius. All right, so those are your major rat muscles that you are responsible for knowing. So the next thing that's gonna happen is I'll show you a picture and I'll point to something or have an arrow on it and say, what is this? And you'll have to click on it and tell me.